so uh, after finishing the method of successive subtraction okay so we'll move to the next step that is obviously the prime factorization method okay so uh, as the name itself indicates okay so like in the square root uh, while finding the square root uh, we prime factorize the given number right here also we will do the same so first we'll prime factorize 2744 okay so how you know how to do it right 2 1 2 2 3 the 6 2 7 the 14 2 again with 2 isn't it so 2 6 the 12 2 8 the 16 2 6 the 12 okay so here also again with 2 2 3 the 6 2 4 the 8 2 3 the 6 so now uh, it will not go with 2 so next uh, I can try with uh, I think it will not go with 4 also so it will go with uh, it will not go with 5 also it will go with 7 so 7 for the 28 7 9 the so again with 7 7 7 the next again with 7 right 7 1 the okay so therefore um, 2 7 4 4 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2 into 7 into 7 into 7 right <coughs> so now it is uh, somewhere like a uh, square root okay while finding the square root we what we did after prime factorizing the given number we formed a pair isn't it so pair means two number two factors but here we will form a triplet you know what is triplet T R I P L E T triplet okay so triplet means three numbers like uh, the set of three similar factors like here 2 2 and 2 see well in square root we only took two two twos right but here we'll take three so here we'll take three sevens okay so therefore cube root of two seven four four will be equal to how much out of this three twos not from two we'll take triplet that is why from this three twos one two will come and from this three sevens one seven will come so it will be 14 so what is your answer your answer is 14 okay so did you understand this so uh, if not then i will go through one more example okay so that will be easy for you to understand so uh, here also i will first prime factorize it okay one zero six four eight so i'll do with two it's obvious so again with two right two to the four two six the twelve two six the twelve two again with two two one the two two three the six two three the six one so now it will not go with two okay so next uh, with which number will it go then so uh, you have to check uh, if you check it will be 11 i guess okay so 11 1 is 11 11 2 is 22 11 1 is 11 next with 11 again so 11 11 is so next 11 again 11 1 is okay so again therefore 1 0 6 4 8 will be equals to 2 into 2 into 2 into 11 into 11 into 11 so here also I'll form a triplet like this. So therefore, cube root of one zero six four eight will be equal to how much? So out of this three twos, one two will come, and out of this three elevens, one eleven will come. So the answer is twenty two. Okay. So in this way, you can do push rest of the questions. That is till f, till f. Okay, means c d e n f are your homeworks. Okay. So uh, I will move to question number seven then. Okay. So, question number 7. So, you have to find the value of the following. Okay, and question number A is cube root of 1024 into, see, there are different cube roots, 32. Okay, so now, uh, if you check, okay, I, uh, I will just say you check it, okay. If you check, 1024 is not a perfect cube means if you try to find the cube root of this using prime factorization method some factor will be left there and if you check 2 32 32 is also not a perfect cube for example if i say the cube of 2 is 8 cube of 3 is 27 and cube of 4 is 64 see 32 is not there in the series okay so that is why we will use the uh, law of exponent here see this power what is the power of 1024 here? Cube root. Cube root means power 1 by 3. Isn't it? 
here also the power is 1 by 3 for 32 right so now we have different base but we have same power okay so in that case what we get we have to multiply the base whereas power remains the same that is the power is cube root only but we can multiply the base isn't it why i will write it here also since a to the power m into b to the power m can be written as ab whole to the power m see this was the law of exponent which i applied here okay so next what i will do is i'll not multiply these two okay i'll simply prime factorize 124 and 32 separately okay that will be quite easy so this will be 2 5 to 10 2 1 the 2 2 to the 4 next with 2 2 2 the 4 2 5 the 10 2 6 the 12 also 2 2 1 the 2 2 2 the 4 2 8 the 16 is it so again 2 2 uh, 6 the 12 2 4 the again with 2 2 32 the okay now with 2 2 16 the next again 2 2 8 the 2 4 the 2 2 the 2 1 the okay so if i prime factorize 32 then i'll get 2 16 the 2 8 the 2 4 the i'm doing quickly as uh, i already hope that you know how to prime factorize okay so we'll get hence on uh, cube root of 1024 into cube root of 32 is equals to under root of c so uh, this uh, sorry it's not under root it's cube root of 1024 means i can write this so 2 2 2 2 2 2 all 2 so how many times 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so 10 twos 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2, into two. Into two. so how many twos 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 into here how many twos now for 32 right so it's now for 32 so how many twos 1 2 3 4 5 2 so 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 1 2 3 4 and 5 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 twos so this will be Mm, if I I will write it in a better way okay so this will be equal to so it will be big one because uh, I have to fit all this so from here 10 to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and from here 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay so now uh, since I am fighting cube root I will form a triplet so 1 2 3 now this will be 1 2 and 3 so this 3 okay this 3 then this 3 okay so out of this 3 1 will come so now cube root has removed because of this uh, factors being removed okay out of 3 I am writing only 1 means these 2 are getting removed so that is why cube root is also removing okay from here 1 so from here 1 and from this 3 1 and from this 3 1 so total of 1 2 3 4 5 2 that is 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 8 to the 16 16 to the 32 so your answer is 32 okay similarly uh, <coughs> I'll do B also okay so if I do question number B, it is saying cube root of 375 into cube root of 192. So as I already told you, I will join it and multiply the base. Okay, then what I will do? I will prime factorize individually. So if I prime factorize 375, what I will get? I can directly do with I can do it 3 right 3 1 the 3 3 2 the 6 3 5 the 15 now with 5 5 20 5 and 5 5 the and 5 1 the so it will be cube root of for 375 it is 3 into 5 into 5 into 5 so now for 192 so if you do for uh, 192 what will you get so 2 2 9 is 18 2 6 is 12 right 
नेक्स्ट टू फोर ज एट टू ट्वेंटी फोर टू टुवेल्व टू सिक्स टू थ्री थ्री वन इज इट सो टू नाइन एटीन वन टू सिक्स ओके so it will be uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 twos 1 2 3 4 5 6 twos and 1 three isn't it so i'll make a triplet this three this three this three and this two threes will remain isn't it so uh, if i uh, bring it out so out of this five will come out this uh, two and this two now this two threes we are not forming triplet okay so What will happen? These two will remain inside, so it will be five to the ten, ten to the twenty, and cube root of nine. Okay, so uh, <coughs> so uh, twenty and cube root of nine is your answer. Okay, so uh, similarly, I want you to do number C as your homework from this one. Okay, so from next. Uh, in the next class, we'll do uh, some word problems, which is there, okay, and we'll move to the next topic, okay.